Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining my um, options webinar in Artisan 5. I hope that the few little tips that I share with you will be of um, value to you and that you'll have a couple of aha moments. Um, I'm going to be using a kit today called School Days, and that's D-A-Z-E. Um, that is part of our National Scrapbook Day of May 2017. That's only $5. It's um, if you put in the code NSD every day. So that's the letters NSD for National Scrapbook Day and all, and then the word every day all together. And let me show you that kit. It's super cute. So um, it's right here. I'm just going to click on it. And you would just add this to your card and put in that code. And it's full of, uh, you're going to see me using it today, actually. Uh, it has all kinds of uh, papers and darling papers and art kits. So again, you would just add this to your cart. And it's going to say that it doesn't work for me because they know that I've already bought it. You can only buy one because it's 80% off. But you would just put NSD every day and apply it. And it's, oh, well, I'm going to go buy some more. <laughs> So there you go. That's sweet. I, they haven't let us do that in the past. So super. Um, there's also every day a deal of the day. And so that's over here under deals. And it's a, a really favorite of mine, um, what, you, what we call the legacy um, creative memories art kits that we now call Storybook Legacy, um, called Boots and, and Braids. And that would be under here under your um, deal of the day that was under deals at forever.com and then I clicked on the first one you would put in the code deal of the day again this is a really cute one I won't take any time on this webinar to show it because um, I promised just a quick webinar here so the, today we're going to um, talk about your options and so over here in artisan now if you can't see this on the screen I apologize it just depends on how the recording goes but in the upper right hand corner of your screen is a question mark so it has a blue circle with a white question mark, and it is your um, way to, to personalize your Artisan 5. So I'm going to click that right now, and then I'm going to go into Options. Again, if you can't see that, I apologize, but you should see everything from here on out. All right, we're just going to go straight down these. Um, chat in the box if you have any questions, and Sky will answer them. Um, and then if she needs more clarification, she'll, she'll let me know. Okay, so general is first here, and um, I just need to turn off the this one second here. My cell phone's going to be making noises, so I just turned that off. Okay, general, you uh, definitely want to start in advanced mode. For some reason, people that are coming new into artisan think that they don't know anything. It doesn't matter if you do or don't know artis artisan. You want to be in advanced mode so that all the options of artisan are available to you. Do not be in basic mode. It's of the devil. And that's my personal opinion, of course. So start start in advanced mode and, and make sure it's not asking you every time. Just just set that. Um, it'll just automatically, these are, these are automatic settings here. Ma magnify recent project selection. That's what you guys are used to on your welcome screen. Obviously, you want to use the on online help. This would be a personal option here if you want to use metric units. And then the double-click starts image editor, make sure you check that. Because um, what happens is in Artisan 5, they have this amazing image editor that you can do everything when you double click on an image um, or, or an embellishment or anything. So if you don't have this set, it will automatically go into image editor um, every single time you go to move something or, or you accidentally double click, you know, click on it, you didn't realize it. So that will make it less sensitive. And when I go back to my screen here, I'll show you what that means in just a minute. But check that. This application color scheme, if you have the kind of monitor that you, you have a hard time seeing, like if those of you that are using Historian, if the timeline doesn't show up very bright, like for example, over here in Historian, here's my timeline. Well, I'm looking at some stuff, so you're not going to see a lot. But if that was, if that was kind of, a really light gray and you wanted it to show, you can make your color scheme darker. So it's just the color scheme of your of your screen to see applications a little darker. If you're finding that you're not getting the message to not show to um, not show this again and you want it back, um, like if you 
want a warning to before you change a template or before you do image editing and stuff like that, you can click this to reset it. And then I do not know what reset file associations are, so I need to find that out myself. And maybe I'll do another webinar. Okay, page editing. Um, you can auto save your pages when you switch to a new page. Um, that Again, that's a personal option there. It will automatically save your page. People would ask why wouldn't you want that. And um, that's a good question. I just want to choose when I do or don't want to save a page personally. So mine's not checked, but you certainly can. I don't suggest that you do this save a backup when saving changes to your page. Because these, my again, you're going to get all my personal opinion on this webinar. But I just feel like these projects are so huge anyway that why you would want to have a backup on each page I think would be a little overkill. But that, again, that is my personal opinion there. You do want to optimize fast rendering while editing to make your computer work as fast as it can. Um, optimize memory uses, usage on page save. This might be something you want to do. This will optimize your anything on the page that can be optimized. It will do that when you save the page. Um, the reason I don't do this is I um, always go back and tweak my pages. <laughs> It's a horrible, horrible thing. Um, if you are a fast scrapbooker, which I am not, and you want to optimize right while you're doing the save, click on that. I, I go back and optimize later. Um, I'm going to stop for one second and go over here to um, a, a premier training site that we have called Pixels to Pages. And um, anything that I'm ta talking about today is on this website in great detail. You can just click on the search bar. And you could type in optimize, and it would bring up everything that you ever wanted to know about optimizing your pages. Optimize means that it will take your page and make it the best um, quality it will, it will. So for example, our photos, we usually take in higher me megapixels than they need to be because we always um, are after the best photo. So that means that we now have 10 pictures of the new baby smiling and we go and put two or three of those pictures on our page and they're at a high pixel, a megapixel, you know, like 10 or 12 or 14. And those could actually be a full size poster and you don't need that on your page. They could be, they could be reduced down to two or three megapixels and still look fabulous on your page. And so it will optimize for you. But anyway, back here to Pixels to Pages, it will teach you all about optimization. This is $15 a month or 160 a year, and your ambassador can t uh, tell you all about this and how to use this fabulous website. So optimizing is a way to um, save your the size of your page on your hard drive, as well as help you with your RAM memory. And um, we'll do we'll we can do a webinar on that, <laughs> obviously as well. Um, lock aspect ratio. I would highly recommend you you click on that. And let me show you why. That would be so that I'm going to add this circle to my page. If that is not turned on, if you do not have that checked, and you and you uh, moved and you went to make this circle bigger or smaller, it would not keep the ratio of the circle. It would turn it into an oval. But if you have that on and you drop the circle onto your page and then you make it larger or smaller, it would keep the same ratio. Now, I like to turn it on because I, I want my photos and my, and my embellishments and everything to stay this, um, the ratio of, of the element. Now, then I personally, if I want to switch it, I just hold down the Shift key, and the Shift key will let me expand it one way or the other um, to make it a different shape if I wanted to, or um, you know, if I grab a corner, it will do it all bigger. So I, I, you know, again, I, I like that option that it will come on as the ratio that it's set to and not change it unless I use the shift key. All right. Um, that was under page editing. Okay. Um, apply also to elements in a selected group. This is your tools and things that you can apply and um, select and apply um, when we I'll show you this in just a second. Okay, text style. This is where you set up your default text. Um, this is my Arial 14. I like it up at the top of the text box, left justified. Um, you could set it to be bold, 
all of these different things. You could reset it to the system. So, But this is your default text box when you make a box. This is not the preset text boxes that might already be on a pre-designed page. Spell checking. Um, this is the settings for when you're when it's looking for your spelling. I won't, I'll let you read these yourself. Um, here's your own user dictionary. So if you click on this, these are, the, these are the words that I've added to my dictionary so that it doesn't come up with misspelled words. And I'm, I'm going to show you how to add that in just one second because I'm going to go to warning levels and then I'll come back to here. So this is, um, again, how I like my warning levels. I like them to be hid on the page itself so I don't get any yellow triangles on the page um, itself. But it does put the yellow triangles here, which I'll demonstrate in just a minute. I do like to show all warnings in my elements panel on the left-hand side here. And when I go to order the, order the um, project, I want it to only show me critical warnings during the ordering of the, during the preview, but right before I order. So let me show you what this looks like. So if I, if I clicked on this uh, text box here, and I, I'm going to write my niece's name there, and I'm going to put in Bailey. Okay, now, because I have a, miss, a word that it doesn't recognize, I've now got a triangle over here in my elements bar. It's not part of, it's not showing on the screen because I said I didn't want it to show on the screen. Now, if I wanted to add Bailey to my dictionary, I would right click and I would add this to my dictionary so that it would no longer come up and give me a misspelled word. So I'm going to add that to my dictionary. Now, anytime I put in Bailey, that spelling, I won't get a misspelled word. Um, in the other one, it was asking about applying elements and what that one is about. Again, these, I could do a webinar on every single option. Um, but this one is where you go in and you, and you sample something. So I'm going to sample the text style. If I went over to another page, I could right click and apply that same text style. And that's what that was referring to, is what you want, what you want that to, to look like. Again, just go play. You can't, you can't hurt anything. So that's the advantage that our children have over us, is they just have no fear. They just go play, and we, get, we feel like we're going to bust something. So go, go play with these. And, and um, you really you can't really hurt too much. OK, so that's the warning levels. The project is um, I, remember all the tool options. And so that one is if you set up a previously you had set up a, um, a, 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 a text a text shape with a certain style and stroke and color, it would remember those different things in your tools. That's not a very good explanation. Again, play, play with some of these. How many uh, pages do you want to be kept in your recycle bin? And then if this project list right here gets a little overwhelming, right down here, you could clear that off and start over again. Now, this is one thing that I do want to warn you about because it freaks people out. They feel like they've lost all of their projects. You have not lost your project. Your project is still over in your artists and projects on, in your documents. This is just a shortcut to them. So I will see, watch, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go to options, and that was under projects. I'm going to clear the project list. So are all my projects gone? No, 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 they're not gone at all. I would just go in to open an existing project. I would go over to projects. I would go over to my artists and projects, and there they would all be, and you don't have to stress out, okay? So um, that, that will clear that. It does not, again, does not clear the project itself. So um, there's that. All right, now let's go back. But if you're worried about that, talk to have your ambassador do a screen share with you or something when you're doing that so that um, you will feel more comfortable. All right, here's, uh, this is a whole other webinar, seriously, on this, of how to set up your calendar event list so that it will auto-populate your um, special dates of birthdays, anniversaries, or whatever you put in there. You can have different lists for different things. This is your software updates. I want to know if there's an update every single day. I, I mean, not that I want an update every day. I want to be told if they're, if they're, I want to check every day. And then here's all your tech support information. So, let me see, Sky, was there anything that I should, that I said I was going to do and I didn't do? 
I can't think of anything. Okay. I think you're good. All right. Any questions? Nope. No questions right. either. Okay. Did you learn anything? Yes. Did you know all that? Well, and was related to things too. You what? Say that again. I learned a little bit, but also was reminded. I, I remembered, oh, yeah, I wanted to go set up the calendar thing, but I never did that before. Perfect. <laughs> well, thank you to those that that's the same thing that happened to me. The same thing happened to you? Is that what you said, Deanne? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> like, oh, that's right. I can do that. Yeah. I, I forget, too. Well, thank you for attending, everybody. And I'm going to stop the recording. And um, actually, I'll just stop the webinar. And you can see this. I'll put it online. Thanks again. Have a good day.